a medic to snipe some drones, this is enough. Uh, to, to basically to prepare a window before the Zerk reacts. Uh, the, the second drop with the dropship actually delayed this uh, what? Uh, we see now the Zerk actually is looking forward to the <laughs> to the third base by the Terran, but he's not prepared uh, actually to have a third base right now. Uh, he, uh, he needs to saturate his uh, his natural because uh, his main is almost mine out. Uh, but very nice planning by Horror. I like the drops and the uh, proxy factory in the raid play with the defensive uh, defensive uh, turrets on the top so far. Yes, it's very nice. And Zerg is probably getting trying to get some more economy. I can see another hatchery in on twelve o'clock. And well, there are some marines trying to kill a lurker egg. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, uh, um, both both workers die to irradiate uh, in the right position. Uh, yeah, a, a single marine, uh, which is the Rambo player, <laughs> he's browsing the map for uh, hidden expansions. Uh, I, I think the horror currently is assuming that. Uh, uh, hero might be having a ninja expansion, perhaps in the bottom bottom location, where the third uh, spawn point is. And uh, Zerk is getting right now. I, I see the carapace upgrade. Uh, he's already having uh, plus one for carapace. He might be getting plus two. This is an uh, excellent strategy when you're playing worker against uh, bio. They cause so so little damage to the already armored worker. Mm. And Zerg is getting nice position for his lurkers, Terran will have hard time to attack uh, to attack it. But at the same time Terran decided to expand, of course he had to do it because uh, well, he's a bit behind economically. Um, at the same time as you mentioned Terran is scouting very good um, all over the map. Maybe he, if he would be a bit lucky he would be able to snipe this overlord in lower right corner. Um, yeah, yeah. And he. Well, Zerg is moving around Terran army. I'm not quite sure what is his plan right now. Maybe he will try to deal with this um, second expansion. Yeah, he actually he actually needs to defend. Uh, I mean, horror. He actually needs to defend very well because if he loses this expansion, uh, even even if he's uh, uh, ahead in supply. Uh, the Zerk is going to be a, a hit in the economy because he has his start already and uh, uh, this is a nice defense uh, with all these marines and a medic but uh, he needs to bring actually perhaps some tanks already and make uh, the, the army much stronger and def defensive capable yes there is already one tank, tank out with siege so I hope it will be enough yeah. to deal with it but still yeah, Zerg might try to be more aggressive right now. Of course, Zerg is nicely abusing this um, construction of this map because he can use um, these bridges not only to defend easily, because right now I have to say that Zerg probably have um, map control because yeah. Terran will have hard time to, to pass this, these bridges. He, he, he's having map control, but but also Horror is having this um, a couple of Marines uh, preventing further expansion. But uh, at this point, I think the bot players are very cautious. Uh, they're not uh, pushy, and uh, uh, they need to take uh, uh, to take a good expansion uh, expansion saturation and uh, perhaps plan a, uh, le less uh, let's say uh, more uh, complicated tech uh, routes with. Um, I'm not certain what the Terran will do, but uh, the Zerg perhaps is going to take to the fires immediately. We see the hive morphing right now. The Queen's Nest uh, was uh, up and about in, uh, let's say, a minute or two. And uh, I think that uh, he may be getting the fires and uh, trying to destroy this um, third by the turn. Mm. <laughs> That's right. And as you can see from very um, aggressive play, very cheesy start, we have a big macro game right now. Yeah, both, both of players are yeah probably really won't attack. Oh, I can see some drop from Terran. He used Matrix to yeah, this is great. Very nice, yeah. And he's abusing these um, ramps right above natural base of Zerg. Of course, this natural base is almost mined out, but he will be able to snap this spire. Oh, 
This is very wise move. Uh, I think that uh, Zerg player late game either either needs to have Mutalisk or he either needs to have the uh, the overworld drops immediately because uh, look at this uh, harmless little drop with a couple of tanks uh, snipe his tech structure with which takes I believe uh, let's say two minutes to build and uh, he cannot get mutants out if he really needs them and. Uh, that, uh, losing tech structure late game is not very good for the Zerk especially. He's immediately rebuilding the Spire. Yeah, and uh, yes, the, uh, the Defiler mode is also ready. And Zerk I mean, has still problems with this drop. And meanwhile there was another drop on second expansion of Zerk. So we can see that Tran is super aggressive as, as, as before, as you mentioned before. Um, and yeah, he was able to kill a few drones with these marines. These tanks is still alive. No, no idea why. So yeah, I very like this style of Terrans. Like, you know, super aggressive, active. Uh, uh, lot this of is, drops. yeah, this is very common stuff for horror. Uh, I think. Uh, uh, he, he's, uh, from time to time this actually gives him trouble with uh, this aggressive play against uh, more defensive players but uh, he's uh, very well known for this uh, hardcore uh, uh, very aggressive play especially against Zerk this is uh, a very good strategy in the early game because uh, Zerk essentially needs to bring this uh, expansion bring, bring the expansion up and uh, the saturations as well yes and this matrix on drops is Dropships were work out very nicely because yeah. <laughs> two scourges just hit um, this dropship and dropship drop is still, still alive. So it was very nice. I was surprised that Matrix is so effective against scourges. Uh, yeah, I think uh, it can actually hold uh, a couple of scourges and uh, perhaps a little more, more damage from a Hydra or two. But yeah, very effective. And uh, I, I very much like to see a lot of use of the defensive Matrix. In general, it's a little bit more expensive than the either irradiate uh, over Zerk. Uh, I mean, but uh, it's uh, good for tanks, for a hero marine, uh, like you mentioned. Uh, of course, the dropships uh, with the uh, dropping expensive units and uh, sniping tech buildings. Yes, and another drop from Terran is incoming. My God, he's so aggressive. <laughs> yeah, he won't let Zerk have a moment of peace. He just want to, you know, kill him. Uh, right now he's flying over this second expansion, he decides it's not worth to attack it. And he's going for this high ground above natural base, he decided that it is just perfect place to drop. Uh, when you mentioned before that Tau Cross might have small um, imbalances, yeah, yeah, this high ground might be small imbalances because um, this high range of tank is very annoying. Because you, you can't snap it with a um, lurker or goon, you have to have some kind of drop tech to deal with it. Yeah, yeah. I, 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 actually, I, I once saw a little discussion about uh, Tau Cross and the imbalance, imbalances ir in regard of races, and specifically, a lot of players mentioned that actually it's much better for Zerk, I was surprised, because uh, these uh, high ground drops with the tanks are very effective against uh, always the, the, a geyser right there and uh, perhaps some tech buildings. Uh, I was surprised to see that a lot of players uh, uh, have mentioned that this be better map for Zerk, perhaps for the early harassment with Mutalisk. Well, maybe it's according to statistics. But yeah. As you know, statistics, when there are not enough of games played on it, statistics is not the best, I'm afraid. And maybe also some... Well, I noticed that sometimes... We see, um, we see a huge attack in the right, right position right now. Yes, and Zerg is getting some great dark swarms. Um, and Terran have a lot of problems right now. <laughs> yeah. Because he have lurkers right next to his tanks. And he can't oh. do much about it. This is uh, not very good spot. Uh, Zerg is pushing very effectively with a bunch of uh, workers. And uh, the Defiers has, uh, have created at least five uh, dark swarms next to the... Right next to the command center, the tanks, the, all the units which are the bio of the terrain were pushed uh, to the right. And uh, yeah, he's continued to push him right there. The Zerg is like super effective in the basement of these dark swarms. Terran simply can't do much about it right now. I'm afraid he don't have enough of energy for his science vessels to deal with it. And his marines just going down, his expansion is probably going down. 
I wonder if it will be able to hold his natural expansion right now. I can see more and more um, e um, Zerglings incoming from uh, from Zerg. So yeah, yeah this yeah, yeah. is a probably and yeah, uh, no, he's uh, right now uh, researching the crackling upgrade at top there or cracklings already. But uh, yeah, this expansion is going down right there, uh, the third from the Terran. And he's a lot of trouble right now. He needs to bring all the tanks again. Uh, perhaps play some correct radiates before the Defiler has uh, spawned all these uh, Dark Swarms. And uh, perhaps place some bunkers right there. A, bu a bunker is always a ni nice idea. I, 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 don't, I don't understand why uh, uh, Terran players uh, do not place a lot of bunkers. Essentially, the structuring of placing a bunker, a tank, and a turret is uh, very effective against uh, pretty much anything the Zerg uh, can uh, provide, uh, unless this is a Guardian, of course. <laughs> <laughs> yes, and well, right now, this um, unit of Terran is still on this high ground next to his natural. Um, Zerg, instead of constantly attacking, he decided to get to double expand right now. Terran just scanned these uh, another expansions and he can easily scouted it with his vultures and Terran for some reason decided to move out. I'm a bit surprised by it. I would rather expect that he will try to get expansion. Meanwhile some Zerglings get some harassment on SCVs of on expansion of uh, Terran. Some great plague on all oh. of army. Yeah. The, this push uh, is uh, a bit all winish by the Terran player I think because Instead of defending, he decided to push. Uh, but you see, the Zerg has uh, three, like you mentioned before. The Zerg has uh, th two more bases on the way, and uh, yeah, this is not a very good spot with the two base Terran. Actually, I've seen this before. Uh, two base Terran defeating a five base Zerg without a problem. <laughs> but uh, yeah, this plague did a lot of damage, and this uh, little push with the Terran is now um, ineffective. Yes, and. Turan well lose a lot of SCVs on his um, second expansion, so he's in very bad position right now. Yeah. Uh, and uh, oh, and all of these medics are going to da going down. They're trying. <laughs> oh my ooh. god. Oh. So little health on the medics. Yeah, this oh and a mine. Oh no, I thought this mine is going to kill every single medic right there, but. Uh, yeah, the, the Zerg uh, has denied extremely well this uh, fort, which is the fort base from the Terran. I don't see why exactly he's doing he, this right now. Perhaps he needs to saturate more and... Uh, uh, I'm not certain what... what, what this is... Uh, all the bases are taken on the map. Uh, he does not have the units to defend, actually. Uh, I, I think we've missed a couple of uh, a couple of dropships in the main of the Zerg, but uh, he defended there. Um, he, he, the, uh, actually, right now, Horror is placing some tanks on the high ground, uh, bottom uh, bottom of the map. <laughs> yes, um, and he's putting down this extractor, but there is nothing mining there, so it probably doesn't matter. I'm just losing some vultures to sunkens, and yeah, it's only a matter of sending some some stuff from Israel to deal with it. Perhaps uh, some mutants, and uh, like I mentioned, I, I, I very like uh, the drop tech from Zerk. Uh, he can defend very easily with uh, overwords. The overwords are beefy units. Uh, he can drop some uh, workers and hydras and uh, quickly snipe this uh, dropping force by the turn. Uh, Horror right now decides to actually push and snipe this uh, bottom base by the Zerk, I think. Well, uh, uh, yeah. Sorry, but meanwhile, uh, Zerg is going for a drop with cracklings uh, in the main base of uh, Terran, Ooh. and at the same time, Terran decided to put down one of expansions of, of Zerg. And oh. I also saw a few, um, what do we call them, oh, ultra risk. <laughs> yeah, yeah, ultras are out, ultras are out. But I can't, I'm surprised that he didn't use them to drop. Uh, perhaps because he is microing very well, this uh, uh, cracklings actually did not do a lot of damage. Uh, perhaps he needed to invest a little bit uh, more in there, but there are so many tech facilities out there that uh, constantly break out marines and the uh, cracklings uh, uh, need some beefy units like the ultra race right there to cause a lot more damage. Uh, there are a lot of ultras on the map right now. There are six ultras and a lot of cracklings right now. The upgrades are uh, for the Zerg player. Uh, 
3 carapace and uh, 1 attack 